Yeah. Alright, so we just got to this hot pot place. Um, and now no we're tables. waiting here, yeah. And it's funny, so they give us these little uh, warm napkins, these snacks, tomatoes, which I found is funny, it's kind of like Lexi's. Uh, <laughs> Not my favorite vegetable. I, uh, they give us refreshing water. Yeah. And this unique melon plum. Oh, plum. I don't, I don't know. Remember. You want to give it a try? Yeah, sure. Oh. Is it tea? No, it just tastes like um grape juice. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a little bit more uh, tart. Yeah. Than that. All right, so we're just waiting and we'll see what we have for our hot pot. Extra stuff. Yeah. What is it? I'm not sure. It's like the fungus yeah. soup, isn't it? Oh, it's like the sweet stuff. Is it sweet fungus soup? Yeah. Is it like crispy or is it just sweet? No, it's just sweet. All right. Pretty good. Give us a couple more things in addition to it. Okay, so these are like... Rice crackers. Oh, they're like mini crackers. Oh, mini crackers? Yeah. Oh, they're not crackers. They're like... Cookies? Chewy. Yeah. Kind of. Alright. Then I wonder what... Oh, then I wonder what these rice crusts are. Oh, is this like these soy crackers? Yeah. Oh, nice. Alright, perfect. I'll try some. Hello, YouTube. This is Gina again with Geeky Asian Ed and Lexi. Alright, so we're trying hot pot here in Beijing. Yeah. Um, we're keeping it really simple because we're not that hungry. So we have a beef, some balls, this little pastry here, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, noodles. So we have a mushroom broth. And then a tomato broth. Um, yeah. Amazing. So let's get started. So I'm gonna do our standard beef, beef. first, and I'm gonna put it inside this one. All right. So I'm gonna put my beef in the tomato one. It's just like home where it literally only takes a couple like swishes to like get it in. Yeah. I didn't get any sauce, so I'm gonna borrow some of Alexi's sauce. Yeah, I did a good peanut butter and um, sesame oil with some garlic in it. Perfect. Yeah, so. I'm gonna dip it in a fine drop line. Alright. And I'm gonna do mine. That's really good. Alright. Let me try mine with the uh, tomatoes. Alright, I gotta get my things in. This is tomato, I didn't have a sauce, but normally I put that in. Well, I did. It melts in your mouth, super tender. And I like the little acidity of it. Alright, uh, we're gonna keep eating and uh, we'll come back. So they have a significantly much more sauces than I've ever seen before in variety. And then also you need, they have a whole bunch of these little salads up here. This is wild. They have these little things in the appetizers. This okra thing. I'm not sure what this is. Sounds like a daikon. It's bamboo shoot. Uh, it's almost like a Korean barbecue style thing. Yeah, it's like a bamboo shoot. It's got a little spiciness to it. Actually, ooh, that after it has <laughs> some serious spice to it. Cool little bamboo shoots. Sorry, I'm shaking. It's almost like a, a pickled thing. Let's check out this okra. Oh, it's more of a sesame seed, uh, sesame seed oil type stuff. And this looks like a like a radish. Yep. Traditional, really pickled radish. And it's awesome. And the suggestion is we normally make it, we put some of the broth into it to make more of a soup. Much, much different experience. Alright, we're still trying and we're still learning. 
Okay, so we've made some noodles and we put it inside the like soup broth kind of thing. Did we cook it in now? Yeah. It's actually really cool. It's like, it has a weird texture, but it's actually like really good. Like it's just kind of like, the flavor. it's chewy, yeah. And then mixing it with the broth is actually 10 out of 10. Really All good. Right. Fantastic. Can't wait to try our last one of the, uh, what's inside of it? I don't know, let's see. Oh, I think it's probably some sort of like shrimp paste, uh, not shrimp, but like some sort of fish paste. Oh, can you cut mine? That yeah. was cooked in the mushroom. And then this one was cooked in the tomato, tomato. paste. Let's go try it. All right, so I'm gonna try this tomato one. Put it in a sauce. Let's see. Is it too hot? No. Nope. <laughs> too big of a bite. It's definitely um a fish kind of thing, and it's kind of crunchy a little bit. Um. But overall, it's like very soft and chewy. Besides, there's a little bit of crunches in them. It's really good. All right, let me try the other one. So this is the one in the fish. Oh yeah, your standard bean curd, and it's probably like I said the uh, like some of the fish, uh, like a fish paste kind of stuff. It's great. I like it. Very good. Right, so we just finished we the finished, hot pot. It was so good. This place is amazing. It's so good. I mean, it's a unique thing. The attention to details of giving you things to wash your hands it when uh, you start. Um, if, if you had to wait, they served you snacks, it's not drinks. just like silly yeah. yeah, they had drinks. Uh, there's lotus root. Um, all the. Um, the things like fruit, automatic part of the bar. The they also had games for you to play it. Like I know they talk. About, we learned yeah. how to do origami. Yeah. And another thing that's complete wild. Uh, they offer Lexi hair ties. Yeah. So it's definitely get it. They offered us aprons. I saw some people had a cover for their phone, a bag for their phone, because when you use a hot pot, everything starts to smell. Starts to smell. Like, um, it's amazing, like the, the attention to detail yeah. and those little things. The seasonings are. They're so good. Their sauces are amazing. Yeah. But another thing, the food was fantastic. It was fantastic. These soups, we've always thought hot pot, the soups are bland, and usually it starts tasting better once you start cooking more food in it. This had. Great it flavor. started off good. You could actually eat it as a, a real soup. Yeah. And which is actually what I did in the recommendation from it. Alright. Um, I'll figure out what this name is. I'll put it in the description. But uh, this is Gene with Geeky Asian Dad and Lexi. Hot Pot in uh, Thumbs Up. Definitely thumbs Definitely. up. Definitely. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, keep following.